I'm a wildlife biologist working at the Wildlife Conservation Research Unit um, at Oxford University and for the past 12 years or so I've been studying clouded leopards and other wildcats here in Borneo I'm um, specifically trying to understand their ecology um, with a mind to actually try to help protect them. It's rare to record them on the camera traps, but it's, it's almost impossible to actually see it with your own eyes. So you, for example, I've spent 12 years wandering these forests and I've seen clouded leopards with my own eyes on six or seven occasions. An individual image doesn't really tell us that much, but to use the jigsaw analogy, when you begin to piece together over the many years of all these different detections in different locations, we can actually start to begin to piece together an idea of the ecology of these cats, and we can use this information to develop the models of, of what habitats they like, about their numbers, their abundance, about how they are affected by changes that we people are, are doing to their forest landscape. So the challenge really is, how do we protect the forests and the, the wildlife in these remaining forests in Borneo? And how do we ensure that these forests remain for the future?